Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different, but this is just what's going on in my life. So I thought I'd film a video. Whenever I started my journey, I was on YouTube looking for stuff to learn and to see what other people did. So I just thought I'd make one of my own. So today's video is going to be about um, starting your Weight Watchers journey and just kind of what I've learned in my first two weeks of starting Weight Watchers. So if you're interested, keep on watching and yeah, let's just get started. So I've been doing Weight Watchers not for very long, I'm gonna be honest. I've only been doing it for two weeks, but I feel like I've learned a lot in the first two weeks. Uh, First couple things I learned um, was the first week was pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. I felt like it was easy to find things to eat, which I really enjoyed. Um, compared to other diets, I always felt like you could never find things to eat at restaurants or anything like that. But if you don't know, on the Weight Watchers app, they have a restaurant section and it has a list of a million different restaurants and it has a list of their like menu and what like each item on the menu how many points it's worth and all that so it's really easy to find places to eat out um so i liked that but my first week i felt like i was hungry all day every day like no matter if I ate all my points or if I ate some zero point stuff, like I just always felt at the end of the night, I'd be laying in bed trying to go to sleep and my stomach was just growling. I was so hungry. Like I just never felt like I was full. And so the first couple days, I just thought it was like my body getting used to eating like less food, <laughs> honestly. And um, so I kind of just like blew it off the first couple days. But then I was like, okay, no, I can't live like this. Like I'm so hungry every night. Like I just want to eat something and yeah. So I realized I wasn't getting enough protein in my diet that for those first couple days. Um, I was probably just eating like salads or something and it was high, it, I was filling up all my points, but like I wasn't filling up my points with enough protein. So I just wasn't like staying full long enough. So the first thing I did to help with that is get these bad boys. So these premier protein drinks are so good. And you'll see so many people that do Weight Watchers drink these, like they love them. So it's only two points for a whole carton. So that's really, really low in points, especially for like how much protein is in here. There's 30 grams of protein. And um, I've got the vanilla flavor and it's pretty good. I mean like it's a protein shake, so it tastes like a protein shake, but it's good. Like I mix it in the, I have it every morning pretty much. Um, and I'll get like a big glass uh, filled with ice and put two shots of espresso in it. And then I'll just pour this whole thing in there. And so it's kind of just like an iced coffee drink and it's really, really good. It's really filling. It usually kind of takes me a while to drink it. So I usually, I feel like I stay full a little bit longer. And since I've been adding these to my Weight Watchers diet, I have not been like really, really hungry throughout the day. I feel like it just gave me enough protein, especially first thing in the morning, um, that I just was staying f more full, like a lot longer. And yeah, so this is my first thing that I learned that I really feel like you guys should get. I got these at Target, um, but they have them online, like on Amazon and they sell them at Walmart. And um, I'm sure they sell them at regular grocery stores, but just check in like the pharmacy section where like the vitamins and stuff are. That's where these are, that's where I found them. So, um, so yeah, highly recommend these if you're starting Weight Watchers. Um, another thing that I learned in the first two weeks was be gentle on yourself about sodas. So I used to drink sodas a lot, like regular sodas. And so when I first started Weight Watchers, I was like, no, I'm cutting out sodas completely. Like I just don't wanna drink them. No, I just don't wanna have them in my diet. So I was watching a lot of uh, Weight Watcher videos and a lot of people were drinking Diet Cokes and Coke Zeros and Diet Pepsi, things like that, um, because there's zero points on Weight Watchers. So I I broke down one day and had one. Like I went to, um, I went out to dinner or something and I had one and I just immediately felt like a normal person. I almost kind of felt like I was having a splurge meal too. So it kind of just made me feel a lot more normal and like I was 
like back to my old self, but I still wasn't. I really wasn't like breaking my diet or anything, but it was just such a nice treat to just feel like a normal person. So I, I don't think you should have a Diet Coke like with every meal or anything, but if you're going out and you want just a little bit of something kind of just to make you feel normal, if you're feeling like you're in a slump and you're like, oh, I hate being on a diet and I just want to eat burgers and french fries and all this kind of stuff, um, try just having like a diet soda. There's zero points and it'll just like make you feel like you're back to your old self. So that's something that I've added in the last uh, week or so that has really helped me like stay on track too. I've noticed that it just helped, it's like made me not wanna break my diet as much because I'm having a soda. So I just, I feel like I'm almost splurging, but you're not. So try some diet sodas every now and then if you're feeling like you need a little treat, so. <laughs> okay, um, so then I'm just gonna talk about some of my like favorite snacks and things that have really helped me stay on this diet for the last two weeks. Um, First thing I've really been loving are these little goldfish, the goldfish baked baby crackers. So they're just like regular goldfish, they're just smaller. Um, so you can have, actually let me see how many points these are. Okay, so you can have 89 pieces of these for four points, which is a pretty low snack. Um, and honestly, you're probably thinking like, oh my God, 89 pieces, who the heck would eat all that? it's not as much as you think it is. Like I one day counted, I, I count them out like every single time. And like you think 89 is gonna be like a big bowl. It's really not. Like it fills up maybe like a little like sauce dish that you might have or something. It's not a ton of pieces, but it's a, the perfect amount for a snack, especially if you're like really cr craving something kind of like junk foody. Like if you want some chips feeling or something like make you feel like you're not on a diet. Um, I really like eating these and four points isn't too bad. So this isn't like my everyday snack, but it's helped a lot. So I like those. Another snack that really helped me, especially like in the protein department is um, adding beef jerky into my like snack routine. So I just like the teriyaki beef jerky flavor. That's like my favorite one. Okay, so this one is pretty, this is like such a good snack too because it tastes really good and it's really high in protein and it has a, lot, a really like low amount of points. So you can have a third of this bag for two points. So that's really awesome. I rarely ever eat a third of the bag in one serving. I usually just grab like two or three pieces and that's like enough for my snack. So that is something that I, really really enjoy snacking on and it just kind of like helps me feel full and it's just like a delicious snack so i like that another snack that is like one of my or actually these are two two of my like all-time favorite snacks are both zero points which i love um and that's any kind of fruit and hard boiled eggs i feel like i've been living on fruit and hard boiled eggs for the last two weeks so i love doing that during the day like I will just make a little plate with like a hard-boiled egg I usually put mustard on my hard-boiled egg which is also zero points um, and then I do like a sliced up banana and grapes or maybe an apple or something like that and it's so nice to eat things for zero points it just makes you feel like oh thank goodness I didn't just like blow my points because I had a snack it just kind of makes you feel um, like you're not, I don't know, that you're being good. Like you're having a snack and it's not like using up all your points. So fruit and hard boiled eggs are like your lifesavers. Um, you can also do uh, like low calorie um, or maybe it's low fat, low calorie or low fat, um, like string cheese. Those are really good. I think those are only two points for one string cheese. So I usually add that into my little snack routine. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about my the top two desserts that I really like. And really one of them isn't really like a full on dessert, but it's something sweet. So the first dessert that I swear has just like saved me on this diet. I feel like I've gotten like a really big sweet tooth in the last like year of my life. So once I started this journey, I was like, oh God, I'm never gonna have anything anymore, but this is such an awesome dessert. I love it. So um, you take one sheet of these, uh, what are these, chocolate graham crackers. So you just take one sheet and break it in half so then it's like two little squares. 
yeah, so one sheet of these is two points. So you just take that, break it in half, and you have little two little squares. And then you take two tablespoons of this Cool Whip Light, which two tablespoons is only one point. So this whole dessert is only three points, which is amazing because it tastes like a little ice cream sandwich. It's so good. My tip for sure is to keep this in the freezer rather than the fridge. Um, when you keep it in the freezer, it just like creates the consistency of ice cream almost. It's, it's frozen just like ice cream. It just tastes so cold and creamy and it literally, literally tastes like you're eating an ice cream sandwich. So this has been my absolute favorite dessert pairing these two together to make a little ice cream sandwich for only three points. So I've had this probably like, oh my God, like every other night probably because it's just so good and it's so low in points. I usually always have three points at the end of the night. So it's kind of just like my treat. Um, and yeah, it's delicious. Um, and another tip that I, I added that I really like is um, just if you're craving something sweet but you don't really want like a full on dessert or maybe you don't have that many points or something like that, getting little like hard candies can be really awesome. So uh, I have these Werther's Originals and um, they're only one point for one piece, which I know is like not great, <laughs> but one point for one little piece of candy is not bad, especially if you're just craving something a little bit sweet um, you don't want like a dessert or maybe you don't have enough points for a dessert, but you still want something sweet. This will be really awesome. Another thing that has really helped is eating out. Eating out is one of like, I, I just love eating out. It's one of my, me and my fiance's like things to do. We just always love going and like having a good time and going to eat out together. So I still obviously wanted to stay on my diet and eat out at the same time. So I found a few places that I really love. Um, first place is Zoe's Kitchen. So I don't know like how, like how many locations they have like across uh, the country or the world, but um, Zoe's Kitchen is a like Mediterranean Greek food kind of place. And oh my God, they have so many good options. So many good options. Um, I went there and had their chicken kebabs for only two points. Um, you could get salmon kebabs for zero points. They have like pita sandwiches for six points. Like almost everything on their menu is like under 10 points. There are some things that are over like in the 15 point area, but for the most part, you can get a really low point meal there. Um, they have really good side options. They have salads, they have fruit, all kinds of stuff. So you can have easily have a zero point meal there just by getting like something with salmon and um, fruit and that's easy peasy. Um, so I have been loving eating at that place. Like when I first started Weight Watchers, we probably went there like three days in a row because um, it was just so easy to find good food that was really low in points. So if you have a Zoe's Kitchen around you, definitely check it out. Um, another place that we've eaten at a couple times that we've really liked is Chick-fil-A. <sighs> Chick-fil-A, so good. So they have a lot of options. Like we went there last night for dinner and um, there I got a 12 piece grilled chicken nugget, which is zero points y'all. 12 pieces of chicken is zero points, which is amazing. So. I, since I was doing that, I got a small fry, which was nine points. So that's what I chose to spend my points on last night for dinner was I wanted a small fry. I really wanted to like splurge, um, but I felt like I was doing good because I still had a whole like healthy entree for zero points. So, um, or I could have just gone and done a whole zero point meal by doing uh, the 12, grilled chicken nuggets and then doing fruit. That would have been a zero point meal. Um, also, you can do the cool wrap, the grilled chicken cool wrap. I think that's seven points. The grilled chicken sandwich is six points. Um, they have salads and stuff there too. Um, but yeah, Chick-fil-A has just like a lot of good options that you can, it kind of feels like you're splurging, but you're still being within your points. So that's what I've learned so far about this. Uh, diet is that it's not necessarily about being on a diet and being like super strict. It's really more about like just going out and 
making a better choice than what you were choosing before. Cause no doubt I would have gone to Chick-fil-A and before I was starting this diet and gotten the fried chicken sandwich, I would have added cheese on it. I probably would have gotten a large fry, a full calorie like Dr. Pepper. I would have had like four sides of ranch, which that's something I've learned is how many points and how many calories and how bad little sauces are that you get at like a fast food restaurant. That was the hardest thing. Like going to Chick-fil-A, who doesn't love the Chick-fil-A sauce and all that? But for like one little tub of ranch, it's like six points. That was like almost as much as the French fries. So that's just things that you learn while you're on this diet is like, you really just pay attention to what you're really eating. Cause I would have like eaten four things of ranch and thought like, oh, it's nothing. It's like, it doesn't really exist. It's just a sauce, but really it's super high in sugar, calories, all that stuff. So you just have to be careful. Like it, I, I feel like this diet has just taught me like to pay attention to what I'm eating and just to like notice by counting the points and how much things are worth. Okay, and so another tip that I have is when you go to a restaurant or like a fast food restaurant, you find sauces that you can have, grab some extras and take them home, um, which is what I did. Um, this Chick-fil-A sauce, this honey roasted barbecue sauce is only two points for the packet, um, which is like by far the lowest point item or lowest point sauce that they have um, at Chick-fil-A. So I really liked it. It's really good. It pretty much tastes like their Chick-fil-A sauce. Um, but yeah, it's only two points. So I grabbed some extras and took it home. So that way, if I have grilled chicken here and I just want to add a little bit something, or if I just like want a little sauce or maybe even throw this in a salad or something, like if I just need some sauce that I know is low points, I know that I can have this. Um, other than that, I would just say like, try to include as many zero point foods as you can. Um, we've even tried to implement like zero point meals. So like I said, when I went to Chick-fil-A last night, I could have, I got um, like the grilled chicken nuggets. I could have gotten a side of fruit instead of the fries and it would have been a zero point meal. Um, we also like when we're cooking at home, we'll do salmon and like corn on the cob or like some other vegetable or something. And that's a zero point meal. Um, so I like to incorporate like a whole zero point meal every now and then. Um, and then, like I said, I try to make my snacks almost zero points. I really, I really try to eat fruit as my snacks, like specifically only fruit, um, but sometimes, or hard boiled eggs, those are my savior. Um, but yeah, just try to incorporate um, zero point foods as much as you can. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something about um, Weight Watchers or gave you some tips about what you should eat for Weight Watchers. Um, and yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll do some more, maybe like continuing on in my Weight Watchers journey. Maybe I'll do some other ones. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.